Welcome, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. The processor in my PC died. This one. The i3 processor. So I got an i7. But as you can see here, it's running very hot. 76 degrees doing nothing. Just having OBS on. So what I'm gonna do is always oh, running on the i3 cooler like one of those factory ones the small ones i got this puppy today look at that so we're gonna take it apart and pop this one in the trouble is my motherboard don't have the brackets so i also have to put all these brackets in and I never seen such a thing. It's gonna be interesting. So I will set up the camera in this spot. This is the ready to go streamer spot. And for you it's not very exciting because if you watch this, I already changed everything and I already edited the video. But for me it's exciting, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Wish me luck. Let's set up. You see it's still 68 degrees. That's way too much. So, let's jump right into it. We're gonna take this. And, just look at the size difference. That's what's in there now. And we're gonna put this in there instead. Dust get hand. Remove that little piece. Put this one in. But in order to do that, I need to remove every single thing from the motherboard. Remove the board because I need to install this bracket right underneath. Let's Get going! Two sets of 4 gigs DDR3 I know it's an old machine but still Very snug, very snug Look at this old shit <laughs> It's almost 7 years old 8 and the sticker was still on it. Not anymore. We're gonna remove the old cooler. You see? This is it. The fan. And look the sheer size of the heat sink compared to that one. It's gonna be nice and cool. Very scientifically, we're gonna clean the thermal paste off. Just wipe it off. Ew. The new i7. And what I need to do now is to lift up this whole thing. Oops, not like this. I need to lift it up. Put this bracket. Put this bracket under. And then it will hold the cooler. The new cooler. Just like this. Boom. Now it's gonna fit. PC cooler from IKEA. So first, and they want me to put the thermal paste on already. I need to put the the bracket underneath, don't I? These are the fastener and the screws. I need to get my base ready. Hold it like this. I put it in there, and then. No, and then look, I put the little thing in. Then I put the cap. 
another thing in another cap right let's lift it up then mate I forgot to say this this is not a tutorial video you can't see anything anyway it's just a video for me to have fun right one is on dun 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 I put one of them upside down, look. Focus. Look how genius, I put one of them upside down. Uh, big brain, huh? Now it's correct. I should just remove the whole thing, but... That would take too long. We have the base plate underneath. These are the pins for the base plate. These four. And those need to match the placement with this one. And it just needs to be tightened up. So we will have enough air going through all the memories it's all aligned now so I can remove the sticker no I gotta screw back the motherboard first first things first I have to hurry up because I have a cheesecake after I'm done this So it's all riding on this, a cheesecake riding on this. What we need to do, get the thermal paste, dun dun and put a ball in the middle, then remove the sticker, align, alright so we in, look at that tower. Now the only question is, can the memory go back? Easy peasy. The point today is to make it work. Not how it looks. Looks are not important. All plugged in. And the screw for the graphics card. Right. I don't think I broke anything. What we have to do now is put it the other side, plug in everything, and let's see if it works. But you know already if it works at all. So here we are back at the computer. Everything works. And I found out something very interesting and funny. Take a look at these numbers. I use this performance monitor, and it still says 90 degrees. And then I downloaded the Core 10 because I couldn't believe I saw in BIOS it was 30. And look at the Core 10 details. 28, 31, 29 and 29. So it's all over 30 degrees. So this performance monitor is just... It's just rubbish. So this is, this is unbelievable. So bye bye. Fuck off uninstall anyway I don't want to see that shit again it's unbelievable anyway it might be maybe the old one was good but with this change now it's safe there's a massive cooler on it and it's gonna work for a longer time now it's gonna be a good temperature all day I need to see that You see now, when it works, it's doing something, it's going up, that's absolutely normal. <laughs> that was just unbelievable. So now you see, we're running OBS. 
I'm gonna put this on here. We're running OBS recordings and it's 40 degrees. It's absolutely normal, it's correct. But when I'm when I don't run anything, it should be going see it's already going down. It should be around 30, 40 degrees. <laughs> so overall a smashing success. Now I just need to test a few things. Run some games, get some USB extensions. Should be correct. Oh, there's nothing in my way to make new videos every week. See you next time. Thanks for watching. I know it was a different kind of video.